you're going to be, um, I, I hear, you're going to be starting up your your own blog spot, your own blogs. Yeah, I, you, know, uh, you know, with my, my, my sort of lawyer lawyer hat on, I mean, I will, of course, deal with the Constitution at, 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 uh, at, at various stages in it, but uh, yes, um, I think it would be quite healthy for people to have a an explanation of what what's going on from a lawyer's perspective. From a lawyer's perspective, in relation to to, to law, which is what you know I, I do most days uh, when I'm not talking to you. Um, so I thought that would be quite useful and interesting. And of course, you know we have our specialisms here, so I will be doing well with abuse of powers by organs of state. You know the executive. We've got some litigation in relation to that. I'll also be dealing with with, with um, uh, how to sue banks, their dishonesty, you know, your relationship with them, what to do about it, um, and how the bank, modern banking system now operates to the detriment of its clients. So, yeah, we'll be dealing with that. We'll be dealing with um, states review boards um, and points of legal interest that will come up. They'll be relevant for the public. They'll be relevant for um, um, co professional colleagues here and abroad. I think you'd have quite a big market, a legal, a lawyer, a legal blog. I think be, this would be a first for Jersey, won't it? I don't, I don't know of any other blog sites that um, or uh, lawyers, I don't only lawyers that speak out. <laughs> no, I mean it's not doesn't normally sit with the profession. You tend not to, but I mean I think Jersey's in a fairly desperate state, really. So I think it would help. And also personally, I've been getting the JEP treatment recently. The what? The JEP treatment. All right. And um, what's that? Well, they publish a misleading article about me. So I write a gentle letter, and they do this without picking up the phone or saying what's the reality. Um, bearing in mind that it's not far from Five Oaks to Charles Street, you know, they could have asked first, and they would have put some balance into it, and they could have done what normal journalists do that aren't too bone idle or, or too biased to do it. I mean, it's fundamental in journalism. If you're going to do a piece on somebody, you know, if it's possible to ask for comment. It's good practice. Um, so I calmly write to Mr. Sibsey and say, well, you know, here's my letter to the editor, you know, a bit of redress here, a bit of, bit of balance. So a story uh, they ran on yeah. you. So he refuses to publish it. Now, that's two letters within a couple of months. He just refuses to publish letters from Mr. Sinnell. Um, and the excuses that he comes up with are just so, so utterly bizarre, you know, they're, they're just um, almost humorous. So you're saying really that that's more of a trigger, you think, well, I'll, I'll tell you I what. think it all came together in my head one day as I was um, sitting in the bath and I thought, well, hold on a minute, this would be a good idea. Um, we're not going to be taking on board, well, on board, but it's not going to be like a, like a blog like you or Rico have got where, you know, you can comment on it because it just becomes too time consuming. But we will be taking on board what people say. There will be, you know, if we've written something about you and you don't like it, well, obviously we'll listen like responsible media. Um, so, um, albeit we're not trying to personalise it, we are trying to, you know, to deal with, with issues rather than personalities. I mean, some personalities may not like it, but there we go. I'm sorry, Mr. Lloyds. I'm sorry, Mr. Barclay. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to it. It'll be a, uh, a welcome addition to the blog scene, and uh, I want to say thank you to today. I'm oh, trying to get welcome. this interview for quite a while. We've covered a few um, subjects, and then hopefully we can have a ca catch up when the when the inquiry reports in, in March hopefully yes um, I think that's going to be a very big day and it'll be um, a very big day for, for, for a lot of victims who've never been publicly acknowledged never been publicly heard and many of them have suffered in um, courageous silence I think is the best word of, well, uh, way of dealing with it I mean one of the thing you know one of the things that sort of disappointed me or, or sort of rammed it all home was no, I didn't go to much the inquiry to get bits of it and um, there were breaks in, in, in the hearing and um, people flooded outside and stood on the pavement. Uh, and standing there were victims, representatives of, 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 of victims and almost from a different planet walking past were the incredibly well and expensively dressed lawyers from nearby law firms in the, you know, beautifully attired and, um, you know. Yeah, they, they were outnumbered. The the, the, the victims um, yeah. and survivors, you know, I think they had one lawyer against a whole army of lawyers. Well, it's so bizarre. I mean, 
it's, you know, at least one of my colleagues has got a job as an apologist for the oligarchy. I mean, it just must be wonderful. You just sort of shove taxpayers' money into the machine and out it will come and um, do it. And, you know, I am truly horrified. I mean, that was the letter to Rico Sorda. I mean, we're, we're having a... You know, we're having an inquiry to get... Uh, uh, to help the island move on. Mm. Um, and it's automatically undermined by... Uh, the now states of Jersey police force. Um, the Attorney General's office have imported some, I'm sorry to be pejorative, but I mean expensive rent mouth really. I mean, they, you know, they, they get this, you know, let's get a silk in, let's, uh, you know, a QC, let's get all this sort of, sort of, you know, to do RPR for us. Why not accept what's been said and, and, and take changes? I mean, who are they protecting? What are they protecting? Are they protecting a way of life and, um, institutions and a way of thought that um, is abhorrent.